Hello, this is Arthur Hill, Senior Technical Analyst with StockCharts.com, and today we're going to get you started with Sharp Charts. We're going to first show you how easy it is to create a Sharp Chart, where you can find the different symbols. We'll show you how to understand the key features on the Sharp Charts workbench. Then we'll show you how to customize your Sharp Chart and add overlays and indicators. Let's get started. So I'm starting out here on the Stock Charts homepage. Now, if you're not a member or if you're not logged in, this is what the homepage is going to look like. And at the top of every page at Stock Charts, you have a box there for creating a sharp chart. So you can easily just enter a symbol there and create a sharp chart. Now, what I would recommend doing is starting from the Charts and Tools page because this has all of our other tools there. There you can see a link on the right for Sharp Charts. There's also a symbol entry box on the left. So I can enter a symbol and click Go to create a Sharp Chart. Or of course, I can just go to the top, enter QQQ, click Go, and create a Sharp Chart. So this is what the Sharp Charts workbench would look like for a non-member or somebody that is not logged in. And in particular, up here, you're not going to see the auto refresh option, which would be up in the top here. And also, you're not going to see a link for past data because those two things are available to members only, as well as several other things. And I'm going to go ahead and log in and show you what it looks like from a member standpoint. The first thing we need to do, of course, is to enter a symbol. But what if you don't know that symbol? Well, if you go up to this symbol entry box at the top here, I can start typing in a name and I will start getting an autofill. So I get everything with micro here and I can select Microsoft if that's what I'm looking for. If what I'm looking for is not seen there, you can click more results for micro and then I will be taken to the symbol catalog and I can do further searching. We can also go to the top right. There is a magnifying glass icon there. And if I click on that, I can search stock charts. So if I search for micro here, I'll get all the support articles, but that's not what I want. I want symbols. So if I click that drop down, I select symbols, and there I get all the symbols that have the word micro. So let's start with the top here above the sharp chart to show you what these different links will do. As you can see, there's the refresh option there. And so what I can do is I can click that to turn on the refresh to get it 5, 15, 30, or 60 seconds. The inspect button is very handy if you want to scroll through the chart and look at a particular date to see the low. So if I want to see the low on December 24th, I can see it there. I'm going to unclick that, uncheck that box so we can look at the chart. Now, once you create a chart, you need to save it. And I'm just going to quickly save this to my chart list, which is the default chart list at Stock Charts. I click Add New, and there that is saved to my chart list. So when I make any other adjustments or annotations to it, I just click Save here at the top to save those. A couple more things you can see you can choose between daily, weekly, monthly, and so on. And if you make any changes, like if I go to weekly, there's a quick update button there to change that setting. I'm going to scroll down just a little bit so we can look at the options at the bottom just underneath the sharp chart here. You can see a nifty row of links for which you can do something with a sharp chart. We have a link for printing. Of course, there's for annotating if you want to add some trend lines or something. There's a link to share. And if I click that link, I'll get options to share with Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, or email. You can also get a permalink if you want to copy that and send it to somebody. And if you're a member and you're logged in, you can click past data to see the past data if you want to look at a particular date or if you want to download that data set. I'm just going to hit back. And finally, you can see a link for instructions if you need any help and to report any problems. Now let's get to the fun part, customizing your Sharp Chart. And that begins in the Chart Attributes section that you can see just below the Sharp Chart. There are a whole array of possibilities here. It starts with the period 
and the range. You can set the number of years, months, days. You can even add extra bars. I'll add 10 extra bars to this chart. You can then change the type. I'll change it to high, low, close bars. You can adjust the size and you can even change the color scheme. So I'm going to go ahead and change to night. And when I do that, the chart will refresh and I will get my night vision chart. And you can see over on the right, I've got the extra 10 bars. If you scroll further down and look at these attributes, you can see you can change the up and down color of your bars as well as opacity. You can add a grid. I could add a dash grid if I would like. And you can add a full quote if you want to see more details about the symbol as well as price labels. And I'm going to go ahead and add y-axis labels and the zoom. And when you're done, just click update and you will see all of your changes applied to the chart. So I went ahead and cleaned up this chart to start from scratch, but you know, what is a chart without an overlay or an indicator? And of course we can add a zillion of those using the sharp charts workbench here. There you can see just below the chart attributes, the overlay section, and just below that you have the indicator section. And so if I want to add an indicator, say I want to add a moving average, I just click simple moving average. And there you can see the adjustments I can make to that moving average. If I want to make it white on my black background chart, I can do that. We can also add an indicator very easily. If I want to see MACD, I just scroll down the indicator list and choose MACD. And on the right, you will see the advanced options that you can use for that indicator. I can even add an indicator to MACD if I would like. Once you've made your selections, click update and you will see your new customized sharp chart. There we have the 50 day moving average and we can see MACD. Now I've basically just scratched the surface of what you can do on sharp charts and it's all very easy. This is just a chart with Apple and you can see I've got the full quote window here to see all the details about the company. I've got Bollinger Bands in area format to see when the price is breaking above. I've got volume and I added a moving average to volume and I've got Bollinger Band width with a horizontal line at 10. And there you can see all those settings down below. So it's very easy to customize these and help you make better investing and trading decisions. Good luck and good charting.